40 teams entered the League Cup group stages, but only 11 can advance to the knockout rounds. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. 11 teams are going to make it. 11 teams are going to join Celtic Rangers, Hearts, Kilmarnock, and St. Mirren in the last 16 as we compete for the first title, the first trophy, the first cup of the season. A cup that gets overlooked, a cup that gets labelled the pre-season cup, but uh, there's no pre-season about it. A cup's a cup, a trophy is a trophy, and it's neck and neck in Glasgow. Whoever wins this cup will be the most successful team in Scotland by Christmas Day. So, yeah, this is a big, important trophy. Plus, all the other teams in Scotland win nothing so any trophy for them is important it matters and according to people i'm on to a winner of certain people because no matter what i win because i support celtic everybody hulk hogan that's another hh right in there but anyway right aberdeen group a set on nine airdrie take on queen of the south both on six east Kilbride and barton are both it it's pretty self-explanatory uh, yeah. self-explanatory queen of the south can go through if they defeat aberdeen well, I mean, even if they draw with Aberdeen, they've got a chance of winning on penalties. So, yeah, you, you can't actually have an equal share of points anymore. So that, that does definitely mix things up. However, what I would say is, I think to get through in second place, you're going to need to get nine points. So for me, if Airdrie and Queen of the South draw, I've got a feeling they'll both be out. But I expect Aberdeen to top the group, and I do expect Airdrie to go through in second. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, group B, Dundee United look like they're in pole position, but they've already played four games. Falkirk and Air United are chasing them. They've got the lesser teams to play. All Falkirk need is any sort of win by any scoreline. And all Air United need to do at home is defeat Bucky Thistle by three goals or more. Dundee United and Jim Goodwin, they must be shiting themselves like Winston, who's stuck on a big accumulator. I think Falkirk and Air United's got an accumulator on. It is accumulating. And tomorrow, the pressure on Jim Goodwin is going to accumulate even more. That's my thoughts. I'm going with Falkirk and Air United both to go through. And I wouldn't even be surprised if Air United topped the group because they're the ones that need to win by a certain scoreline. Falkirk only just need to win, plus Falkirk have the tougher game. I'm going to go Air United to top the group and Falkirk to stay in second place with Dundee United dropping into third. I'll agree with that, but it's t that will be time for the actual predictions. But uh, Group C, Hibs, Queen's Park, Peterhead, Kelly Hearts, they can all go for it. They can all top the group. Yeah, after two games, Hibs fans were bragging about how great they were. And now after three games, they've Hibs up again. At natural order restored, losing to Hearts. And we are in a situation where we could see a massive upset in Queen's Park, Peterhead... I mean, they're one win away from guaranteeing. It doesn't matter how many points you get. If you finish top of the group, you go through. So, yeah, um, we, we could see a, a massive upset in this group. I still think Hibs will top it, but it, they should have probably been... I mean, you look at this group, Hibs should have clicked at 12 points. It is a pretty easy group, straightforward group. It is. Kelly Hearts will be ruining the game against Peterhead. Yeah. They should be on seven, probably. I mean, if we're beating Hibs, it should be Peterhead. That simple group D, you got Dundee, and then... Inverness, who got a takeover recently, are both in Bonnie Red Rose. Yeah, speaking of easy groups, this one is an easy group, and Dundee have made it easy, so they will go through in first place. As for the runner-up in this group, no one's going to get through. Seven points ain't going to be enough, so Dundee no. on their own here. Absolutely. Uh, as we go into Group E, we got Livingston and the Spartans, brother. Four for Athletic, Dunfermline, Cove Rangers. What are Dunfermline doing? I don't know, they're not winning, that's for sure. No, they're not winning. As for Cove Rangers, they are doing hee-haw. Group F, we've got Alloa, East Fife, St Johnston. Shout out to Davey Martindale, by the way. Livy will go through in first place. Brilliant for Davey. What about Craigie? It's all over. Uh, yeah, you know what? I mean, well, it's not all over, but I mean, it should be. Could yeah, well, be. I mean, it's, it's, it should be, it could be, it might be, it will be. Craig Levine, it's just a matter of time before he gets sacked. Yeah. yeah, I think he should have came in, saved St. Johnson and walked away with his head held high. As I said, absolutely. And, and, and he probably could have kept enough gravy points in the bank to, to get another job down the line. But he's getting to the point where he's going to get sacked. And there's, surely there's only so many times you can be sacked before other clubs are like, nah, I ain't touching you. 
Right, and you feel like that, that must be coming up with this second. You must be approaching it. As for breaking, they sit last. All games played. Shite. Motherwell, Partick Thistle, Clyde Montrose, Edinburgh City make up Group G. I mean, I guess it's close for that second spot, but I mean, as for Montrose, seven points probably won't be enough. But Partick Thistle and Clyde have got enough in the tank to possibly make it nine, and Motherwell will just be sitting there like, aye, we're through. Yeah, well, are they through? I believe they play Partick. Yep, Sunday, 3 o'clock, Premier Sports, I'll be there. Apart, apart, are you in there in person? No, I'll be on me. I'll be here reviewing it. All right, I think part... Well, you be there? Might be. If Partick beat Mullerwell, I think Mullerwell's out. I'm not, I am not. I think you need nine points to go through in second place, based on how the other groups are. So, yeah, you say Mullerwell are safe. I don't think they're safe. I think they're relatively safe. But talking of safe, Ross County, very safe. Rafe, not so much, but they should go through. And then you've got Sonar at the bottom with Hamilton and Sterling in there. So yeah, let's look at our fixtures then, shall we? Group A, going to go 2-0, Aberdeen against Dumbarton. Who are you going for? Aberdeen should win it for Tawdry. I'll go, I'll go 3-0, Aberdeen. Nice wee... 2 0 Erdre against Queen of the South, because why not? I'll go 2-1, Erdreonians. I think they'll see our Queen of the South, and they deservedly, you know, should be in the last 16. And you know what? They, they could cause an upset in the last 16, no matter who they get, because a rate Airdrie, solid team, definitely pushing for the, the championship title this year, I think. The honest men will pump Bucky, so I'm going to go for 6-0. Is that your honest opinion? Yeah, that's my honest opinion. Yeah, Air should win this. Uh, they need to, well, they will win, won't they? <laughs> that's what it is. They're going to knock Dundee and, I, and I'm here for it. Uh, I'm going to go Air 5-0. 5-0, 6-0. Shite jobby, New Dundas Park. You've got Bonnie Rig Rose against our Broth. Nil nil, why not? Boring. Shite game, I'll go our Broth 1 nil. Clyde, Montrose, both need a win. As we can't touch them, Montrose are kind of out. So it's up to Clyde, and I mean, I wasn't impressed by Montrose and I've seen him in the flesh. Clyde so. currently, on, currently on six points, I believe. Yep. Clyde could go, yeah, Clyde could go, I'll go Clyde 2 1 Clyde. Yeah, I'll go Clyde, could be a crucial victory. Dundee against Inverness. I'm going Dundee. Yeah, I'm going to go Dundee. Though. Three now. They're not going to, need to slip up now. Dunfermline have been shocking. Playing for pride. I think they'll get it. Cove Rangers have lost every game. I'm two going, now. Yeah, I'm going 2 1, Dunfermline. Fair enough. We've got Falkirk against Stenhouse Moor. I'm going 2 0, Falkirk. Yeah, they'll win. They'll top the group. Easy peasy. Well, you think actually Air will. Um, Greenick Morton against Alloa. Well, so did you, funnily enough, say that? Ah, but you, you were very vocal about it. I, I, I snuck in the back door with the prediction. Anyway, let's go through the front door at Morton. Well, Greenock, not really Morton. Front anyway, door's the best door. Anyway, front door is there to be opened, and Greenock Morton will open it, and they will shove Alwa out the back door. I'm going to go 2-0. going to stop saying door. Jim Goodwin's a fan of the back door. Remember that time he sneaked out after that defeat against Hibs? Uh, well, I say sneaked out. He walked across the pitch. Like, it's not, <laughs> <laughs> was it very self stealthy? Like, was it? It was the hardest back door to get through. I, I still feel bad from that. That mate. was fucking awkward, wasn't it? Mm. That's bogging. I don't think they did it right, though. Anyway, 2-0, Greenock. I am. Um, I'll... Greenick's been disappointing, I think, for a while now. But I'll go with Greenick to win, because they need to win. Right, Hibs against Peter Heed. I'm going to go for 5-0 Hibs. They're I mean, Hibs, Hibs need to win this, don't they? And they should win this, and there's just no reason why they wouldn't win this. <sighs> if Hibs lose this, I mean, I, I think you can be making a call for Davy Gray's head already. But they'll win it. Well, he loses Heed at the I'll hands of Peter Heed. I'm going to go 3-1. Fair enough. Uh, right, I went whatever I went. Livingston take on. 5-0. 5-0. The set fair arena now, it's Livingston's home stadium's called. Nah, it's not quite the Tony Macaroni, is it? No, it's a bogging name, but it won't be a bogging result for Livy. I'm going to go 4-0. No one's really given Livy a chance to come straight back up into the Premier League, but, you know, they've navigated these... Is it, not, is it not giving them a chance as no one wants them to? No, yeah, maybe it's a bit of both. I'm, I'm going to go with Livy to complete the uh, four wins here. I'll go Livy... Two Spartans nil. Right, Lesser Hamden, Queen's Park, Kelly Hart's going to go for Queen's Park, 3-1. You know, you got the, uh, yeah, Lesser Hamden, so Lesga versus uh, up Edinburgh here, kind of. Kind of, well, you go for what you want to go with, right? Rafe Rovers, Hamilton. Rafe oh, I'm going to go Queen's Park 2-1. Fair enough, right? Rafe are going to win. Yeah, Ham I'll go Rafe 2-0. 2-0, Ross County against Stone and Albion, 3-0. 3-0 for Ross County. Right, St Johnston should top the group still, shouldn't they? They're on six points. Mm. 
I don't know, are they? I haven't. They are. I've, I, I've actually no faith that St. Johnston will actually beat East Fife, and I think that just sums up. So, yeah, they're on six points. East Fife sit, you know, second. And it's just not a good look into it, no? It's not. I'm going to go 2 1 St. Johnston. I think they'll sneak it, but I'm not overly convinced. Put it this way if St. Johnston don't win this game, I'm not going to be sitting here at like quarter to fucking five and going, oh, I can't believe that. I'm shocked. I'm I, didn't shocked. See, I didn't see that coming. How'd that happen? Yeah, I'm not going to be saying that. Uh, and then finally, we do have... Well, actually, you know, a draw isn't even enough for St. Johnston because their goal difference is so poor that even if they won the penalty shootout, they'd still be behind these five. Well, I forgot to get an extra point in the penalty shootout. So, St. Johnston... Well, St. Johnston half. Yeah, St. Johnston half to win this. No two ways about it. Yeah, the Johnston drink. need to win this it's game. It's a must-win game. And then on Sunday, we've got Motherwell against Partick. Premier Sports won. Is this one, is this the best game? Is this the best tie of the... Well, round? Is it? Or is I, it I'd been... say so. You know, you've got this and you've got the, the balls being moved. No, to go I, after I, the I game. Wanna, is this the best tie of the actual tournament? So far? No, just in overall. Has there been a better tie than this on paper? Um, I'm trying to think. I think the big... Dundee United Air or something? Uh, Dundee I United suppose. Falkirk? Dundee United Falkirk, maybe, aye. Possibly, Airdrie, Aberdeen, maybe. This is a big game, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll go Motherwell to win. Yeah. They're, they're not good, but I just think at home they'll get the job done. Yeah, I think they'll get the job done, and we'll be watching it on Premier Sports. And, uh, aye, you can check us out for the review at 5 o'clock with your money ready for some super chats. Aye, thank you very much, guys. Mm. And I, I read all the super chats. I'm not afraid of reading super chats out. What do you mean, brother? Some of them from Celtic fans. You can't accept them. What do you make of that logic? Load of pish. I'm not, I'm not going to discriminate Celtic fans. Your, your money is as good as anyone else's, so <laughs> you know, that's the way I see it. Like, <laughs> sure, money's green anyway, isn't it? So. There you go. That's you got, that's you got them to tell. Anyway, guys. Who, who wants blue money? Who wants blue money? Wouldn't mind some blue money if it meant Rangers could sign people with the monopoly money that they've got on. The Sam Lammers monopoly money. Anyway, guys, that's it for the Premier Sports preview. A lot of games to get through. We've got friendlies tomorrow. We've got Rangers. I get waxy. Well, we'll just throw these two predictions. Union Berlin against Rangers. I'm going to go Union Berlin. Three, one. Union from Berlin, aye. No Rangers, mate. Yeah. Hardly. Hey, I'm going Union Berlin to win. I'll go 2 0. And then. Did I Union Berlin not finish fourth? Last season, two seasons ago? Yep, they never got relegated last season, though. I, was, I think Rangers would almost get relegated in the Bundesliga the way they're playing right now, so I'm not going to hold yeah. that against Union Berlin. So yeah, we think Union Berlin has win, uh, and then on you know, tomorrow at 9 o'clock, you've got Celtic against Chelsea. I'm going to go for Celtic to win, um, because City's better than Chelsea. Celtic, it was their final pre-season game, and if they continue what they've done, they should win. Where would Rangers finish in the Bundesliga right now? But I'm being honest, right now, where they currently I stand, I think they'd fucking get relegated playing the way they're playing right now. What about last season? Last season, I think they would stay up. What about Celtic? Maybe top 10, or... Nothing like that good. Yeah, you know, I need to think. Yeah, right. But what? what Every I, other team relegated. I'm not. I'm not one of these fuds that thinks the Premier League's like leagues above the Bundesliga. I've seen something really like, oh, uh, Bayer Leverkusen think they would finish in the top six in England. Of course they fucking would. Their league's clear. Like the likes of Yo, Tottenham and United. <laughs> know, look, look at the top six last year. Holy shit! Like no, nobody wanted to finish top six. It was like bad result after bad result. I, I, I don't understand the logic though. See the Premier League bias, man. It's it's mental. Like people have been brainwashed for like two decades now about all oh, how the Premier League's the best league. And that's all it is, man. See if somebody keeps telling you something long enough, you'll believe it. See if you're gullible. The that Rangers is. are coming. Well, I mean, yeah, we've heard that along. I don't, I don't think anyone believes that anymore. Yeah, it's just soul destroying for me. The Rangers but... have come. They went. No one heard them. So I mean. Or seen them to be honest, but it's all right, everybody. Just happy clap and clap like seals, and it'll be all right. But I no, I back, back to the league. So, I mean, yeah, the English the English league's not the best league, it's got it's the most overrated league, and it's got the, the, the league with the most like overinflated transfer prices and stuff like that. But it, it's just it's like England, right? All you hear is how oh, the England squad, England's got so much, so many more better players than Spain. Why aren't we winning? The proof's in the pudding. The reason England don't win tournaments is because, see this, 
they've got the best players in the world. It's a lie. Yeah, maybe technically, according to the media, they've got the best players, but because the players are all overrated. So England, you, you look at the England squad, you look at the Spain squad, Eng- England do not have better players than Spain. Technically, they, they just do not. Yeah, but the, the media feed people a lie. And... Just like people believe that the English Premier... But see, see the amount of money spent in the English Premiership? They should have the best league. English teams should be wiping the floor in Europe. See in the Europa League, see like a West Ham and stuff like that. They, they should be winning that every season. Yeah. The money that these teams spend in comparison to the, the other big leagues, like in France, like I said, PSG don't spend that much money. The Italian clubs don't spend that much money. Nope. So like England, the Premier League should be good, but it's not. It's overrated. No, it is overrated, but uh, we are underrated here on Fog Football, so make sure you stay tuned. It's going to be a crazy season, isn't it? It is. I mean, what, one last thing, Real Madrid. How oh, about them? I mean, if the English League... Rangers beat them, by the way, three <laughs> years ago. If they... Actually beat them, didn't play well, and then lose 3-0. Aye. <laughs> we dig there. Um, yeah, look, if the English League was so good, I mean, you wouldn't have Real Madrid's dominance. It was you... only a friendly. You wouldn't have Real Madrid's dominance, would you, over the past... No, fucking seven years or whatever in Europe. Or more than that, like. But yeah, anyway, guys, that's it for the Premier Sports Preview. We'll be back tomorrow with a review show. Till then, no. Peace.